For those of you wondering, Joyce who? The story of Joyce Mallison's Hall of Fame credentials can be summarized with this simple statement. Joyce Mallison was a professional golfer who played on the LPGA Tour for six years, winning five tournaments, including a major, in 1960. But the story of how Joyce Mallison was first introduced to the sport of golf, how she ascended to become one of the tour's best players, and how she walked away from the sport at the height of her career, makes her one of the most interesting inductees you'll ever meet. In sixth grade, a gentleman named Dick Swift opened a golf driving range on the edge of their farm. Joyce would collect the golf balls that ventured into their cow pasture and take them back to the range. In return, Joyce was allowed to hit as many golf balls as she wanted. And I took advantage of that. Of course, I had pick up balls too. <laughs> but uh, then he kept working with me and he, I guess, saw a lot of potential in me and started teaching me and put me in a tournament in 1949. After graduating from Milwaukee Pulaski High School in 1952, Joyce joined Swift's family on a Florida vacation and the passion for golf accelerated. She competed on a national amateur tour in the southern states and then joined the LPGA. At that time, she was competing on the tour with such greats as Mickey Wright, Patty Burke, and the legendary Babe Diedrichsen Zaharias, recognized as the greatest female athlete of all time. Because I was one of the top amateurs, they paired me a lot of times with her in the uh, open tournaments. So uh, we got to be close friends. Joyce won five LPGA tournaments in a six-year career that spanned from 1955 to 1960. She won the 1960 Western Open, which at that time was one of the four women's majors on the tour. That was down at Beverly Country Club in Chicago, and I was fortunate I came from behind and tied Barbara Romack for the championship, and then I beat her in the sudden death playoff. That was a big tournament for me. She also finished second in another major that year, the U.S. Women's Open. At the age of 25 and a rising star on the LPGA, Joyce Ziske walked away from the professional tour and married Tom Mallison, whom she had met at Rivermore Country Club in Waterford. I saw so many girls out there that didn't have family anymore. And I said, I wasn't gonna be one of them. And if I met the right man, that, uh, that was the end of my career out there. Joyce finished fifth on the LPGA money list in 1956 and fourth on that same list in 1960. She retired from the LPGA in 1960. The Mallisons had three sons and settled in Waterford. Although she left the pro circuit, she did not give up golf. She continued to play and coach the sport at Waterford High School when her sons were on the team. Mike and David played golf and I started working with them and the golf team, they accepted me. I just offered my service there. Joyce was inducted into the Wisconsin State Golf Association Hall of Fame in 1975, becoming the first woman to join the group's ranks. At 78, Joyce continues to work with the Waterford golf team. I like junior golf and uh, I get up every morning and uh, look at the obituary. My name isn't in the paper, so I head for the golf course. <laughs> <laughs>